Tooltips are a super useful feature when you're building your visualizations. They are basically these little boxes that show up when you hover over a chart. Now, these boxes, the tooltips, you can customize in many different ways in Power BI. So let's have a look how it's done. So here we have a tree map and it shows the total sales broken down, down by different categories. So you see when I hover over one of the categories, it gives me the default uh, tooltip. So that's always the fields that you put on this visualization. And here we have category and total sales. Okay. So if I select the visualization and go over here to the format pane, and let's have a look here at the tooltip section. And you see the tooltip is turned on and it's showing the default. However, we also have the option to have a report page that we then use as a tooltip. Okay, so let's build a report page that we then use as a tooltip for a tree map. So I'm going to go over here, add a new page. And over here, the first thing that I want to do is to switch to the format pane, page information, and turn, up, and turn on the tooltip. Okay, so this basically says that this page can be used as a tooltip. And then I'm going to give over here this tooltip page a name. So I'm going to call this one sales details tooltip. Then the second thing that I want to do is to determine the page size. Okay, so from the drop down, let's choose the tooltip size. And you see already we have over here a little box. Okay, so that's going to be the size of my tooltip. And what I always like to do is to make sure that over here on the view, I choose actual size so that it shows the actual size of the tooltip. And then what I also want to do is that I go over here to page alignment. I like to have it in the middle. Okay. And then here for the page background, let's put that transparency to zero. So you get this nice little drop and drop down shadow. Okay. So once we have that, let's build the visualization itself. So I'm going to look at total sales. So I'm going to add sales over here to my page, to my sheet, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's switch this visualization into a line chart. Okay. And I want to have a breakdown by the different categories. So I'm going to put category on legend and let's have a breakdown by the year and by the quarter. Okay. So I'm going to take my calendar high key, put it on the axis. And let's click away the month level. Now over here at this moment, it shows at the top level of my hierarchy, which is the year, but I want to expand it down to the quarter level. Okay. Now what's also important is to double check that it's sorting by year and quarter. Okay. And once I have that, let's clean it up a little bit. So I go over here to the format pane and I'm going to get rid of the title on my x-axis. I don't want to concatenate the labels. And then for the y-axis, I also want to get rid of the title. So let's scroll down. And overall, I actually want to get rid of the chart title. So I'm going to turn that one off. And that already looks much cleaner. Okay. So what's next is that I can switch back over here to the main page. And what I'm hoping for is that when I hover over it, it shows that page has my tooltip. However, at the moment, it's not working like that. So I still have to do one thing. I have to select the visualization, go back to my format pane, tooltip section, and then choose here, report page. Okay. Now here we have two options. Either we leave it to auto. Now let's see if that works. Well, it's not working. Okay. I'm going to switch over here to sales details tooltip and you see when I hover over it now it does work. Okay. So perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. When I hover over computers, it shows me the sales for computers only. And when I hover over cameras and camcorders, it only shows me the sales for that specific category. Okay. So what does then auto do? Okay. So I'm going to switch it back to auto. And you see, it's not working. Okay. And if I switch back over here to sales details tooltip and I select my visualization, you see when the tooltip 
functionalities turned on for that page, you have the possibility to drag the tooltip fields here. Okay, so the tooltip fields that I want to use in this case is going to be the category. So I'm going to put category on as a tooltip field. And now when I switch back, I can hover over one of the categories and it does work. Okay, so automatic means that if you have a tooltip page where you have a certain field over here on tooltip section, that will automatically pick that up for that visualization. Okay, so the next question you might have is, is it relevant that we have over here category as a field on the visualization itself? Well, let's, let's uh, take category out from the legend and let's just show it as a column chart. And now I go back, hover over one of the categories and you see it still works. Okay. So the field uh, itself doesn't have to be on the, on the visualization, okay? So as you can see, tooltips are a super useful feature to add extra information to your visualizations without taking any extra space on your report, okay? So have fun playing around with them. If you have any questions, just let me know.